a long suffering husband will be or first tend to take their spouses for granted. And all of you who have come here today for the launch of Women Extraordinary. When Sujita asked me to read the manuscript and confessed to me she was a little apprehensive of my reaction. I ventured to say to her that as far as writing or creative expression is concerned, I don't lie. I used to say when I was official spokesman of the External Affairs Ministry, I used to say to the media that I will never lie to you, but I am entitled not to speak the full truth because so much is privileged. But in the case of Suchita, after I read the manuscript, it was still then in manuscript form, I came away with a genuine sense of appreciation, a sense of wholesomeness. And I will share with you briefly why. First of all, I think it's requires courage for an author to write a saga that spans three generations, to encapsulate within the covers of a book a canvas of time which extends beyond an ordinary life but encompasses three lives, three generations, a multitude of change, the flux of an entire era. It's not an easy task, and as an author myself, a courageous attempt. The second thing was that it was about ordinary lives. Often novels are about historic characters, about moments of great epic drama. But to write a novel which is about ordinary people, people like you and me, to write about them, to flesh out characters, to essay situations in which you can almost identify yourself as being part of it. Any ordinary middle class man. And to write it in a way where the narrative almost becomes something that you can identify. Not as the other, but as something that is part of your life. 